So you wanna learn how to clone yourself so you can make cool videos like this? Well, it's actually a lot easier than you think. I love using this effect on my videos and some of my photos, so here's how to do it in just a few minutes. This is day three of editing week and let's get to it. Now when it comes to trying to clone yourself, it's easiest if you're using a tripod. What you then wanna do is shoot two different clips. I'd advise to imagine your shot split into two different halves. Shooting the first clip, try your best to stay inside of one half. Then with the second clip, do the opposite. So the reason for the tripod is because it makes it so much easier if your shot is identical. So absolutely try your best not to move your camera in between shots. And if it looks like mine, it's now time to import it into Premiere Pro. Now it's time to layer your clips in your timeline like this. Select the top clip and go to Effect Controls. Under the Opacity settings, select this rectangular mask. Once this mask is created, you just want to cover your subject like this. And if you filmed your clips properly, you should have a seamless mask just like mine. Now, if you are using your phone, you can use the free app CapCut. And it's really the same exact steps, except in CapCut, it's called a horizontal mask. And if your mask happens to have a harsh line in the middle, try adding a little bit of feathering and that should buff that right out. It's pretty crazy that it's really that simple and somehow it's even easier when it comes to photos. Thanks to the amazing AI tools integrated into Photoshop, to create a clone effect very simply, all you have to do is first select your top layer, then using the object selection, select your subject, click this button to create a mask, and like that, you're fully done. Of course, with this effect, you aren't just limited to basic clones. Using creativity, you can come up with some pretty dope looking effects and after watching this video it's possible for you too hopefully you enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure to follow and share with a friend because tomorrow we'll be back with day four of editing week